Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture assessment, then you must be preparing for coding questions, right? So there will be one back-end coding questions, one will be front-end coding questions, one SQL coding questions. So you must be preparing for all of these. But today I'm going to share the back-end coding questions which can be repeated in your case. I can see the questions which has been asked by Marshall Metal earlier. Those questions are being repeated in Accenture backend coding questions. Okay, so let me share the questions which has been asked earlier for backend code. Okay, just before that, guys, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe this and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want in these days. Infosys, HCL, and TCS, and uh, most of the companies, Acolyte or any other companies are hiring. Please watch the playlist at topmate.io slash techno.uf or youtube.com slash techno.uf. It will be very much helpful. Okay. I hope you will do so. Let me just share the question. Hey, you ready for the future? Techno UF is here with premium prep materials. No need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. So the question was regarding toss and score. So actually, uh, let me just read once. I think this is not properly visible. Still, just let me uh, tell. Uh, let me just read it. Okay. So you are playing a game of toss and score in the Hillwood City Mall with your friends. The game consists of the following rules. So one first rule is toss an unbiased coin multiple times. Okay. So this is random. Uh, you do not you don't know how much time okay so this will be the input okay so for each heads you get two points and for each tails you lose one point so if this is h that means head then you are adding two point and if it is tail then it will lose it will lose one point okay the game ends as soon as you get three heads in a row or you toss the coin throughout the length of the string okay so that means let's say consecutively if you get a three h that means three heads then you will that means the count of h if consecutively is three then you will have to uh, return the score okay that means you have to end the game okay and the second condition to end the game is if the length of the string is like let's say eight okay and you are iterating up to eight and this is the last iteration so you have to end the game okay so these are the two conditions for ending the game and these are all the rules of that game okay so you have been given a string s consisting of letters h for heads and t for these tails denoting the sequence of results you get on the toss of coin n times your task is to find and return an integer value representing the final sum you get once the game ends okay so actually this question was sent uh, by uh, one of our family members so i am requesting you to please give your questions as well in our telegram channel or in our instagram account instagram.com slash techno.uf you can give that question i will discuss here in youtube okay so uh note that the final score can be uh what uh negative two okay so actually this is not properly visible so that's why a little bit uh confused to understand okay so let me just show you the sample input output actually in the screenshot whatever i got now uh, on that i didn't get the proper sample input output okay so that's why i assumed some sample input output so let's see that so let's say the string is this h t h h t t h t h h h t okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so length of the string is 12 and these are the combination of h and t that means head and tails okay here the output score uh, should be 10 i think okay so the output is 10 because uh at, at first h right so at first h so you get h that head that means your score will be increased by 2 okay S scored increased by 2 and then t so when t appears your score will be uh like subtracted by 1 so 2 minus 1 that becomes 1 okay then 2h consecutively okay so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 then 1t comes so for this t your 
uh, like your score will be decreased by 1 so score is 4 then again t so score decreased by 1 so 3 then again h so score increased by 2 so 5 3 plus 2 that is 5 and then score is uh, sorry then t so score decreased by 1 so 4 and then 1 h so that's why 4 plus 2 that is 6 then again h so that's why the out uh, the, that means the score is increased by 2 so that's why 6 plus 2 is 8 then the third consecutive h comes so that's why output like a score increased by 2 so that's why output i mean i mean the score is 10 okay so as we met three consecutive h that's why we have to end the game and we have to return the score even if we had one t at the end okay we don't have to check this because we have met the condition that is three consecutive h okay so let's check the second condition uh, i mean second sample input just one request you to if you want to prepare very fast within very few days then please consider our prime materials in which you will get all the latest questions and those are being repeated so you can consider that okay and you will get the mock test and the coding questions as well so please do consider okay and please subscribe okay i am requesting again and again so it is actually motivating me okay so uh, the second uh, sample input is this like let's say s is equal to t t t h h t t okay and in this case actually score is minus one why because at first t so t means minus one so again t so minus one so minus two again at t so this is minus three so total minus 3 here okay then 1 h appears so for that plus 2 minus 3 plus 2 so this becomes minus 1 and minus 1 again h so h means plus 2 so minus 1 was previously there so minus 1 plus 2 that means plus 1 okay so plus 1 and again a minus 1 so this becomes 0 so t means minus 1 so 0 minus 1 means minus 1 okay so output should be minus one because the we have made the condition that is we iterated up to the last index okay so after after getting to the last uh, index we get that score is minus one okay so that's why we have to in uh, return the final score that is minus one okay so let me just solve this in java and python both so if you had another sample input output you can go with that it is actually uh, assumed by myself okay so uh, let's solve the problem in java and python both so uh, let me just share you the approach to the solution so let's say uh, this is the string okay so at first we'll go through all those uh, combinations like a t h all okay so while iterating we'll check if this is h then increase the count of h and increase the score by 2 okay else if this is not h then increase sorry decrease the score by one okay so uh, at the end of the for loop we'll check uh, and in between we'll check if the count of h is three consecutive count of h is three then we'll end the loop and return the score okay so let me just show you the solution so that it will be easier to understand okay so uh, let's start with the java solutions okay so at first let's see the uh, python uh, sorry main function so this is the first sample input uh, that is this okay so i'm just calling this uh, using this function toss and score and it is returning a value that is an integer value and this is uh, this is printing by this function okay so nothing else so let's go to the implementation of that toss and score function okay so this is taking a string as an argument and this is the stating method so we don't have to create an object of that main class and we don't we, we can access this method directly from the main method okay and it is returning an integer so that's why int okay so at first the main task is we have to iterate through all the element okay so from zeroth index to the last index of that uh, string so we have to use s dot length and this curly brace sorry this round bracket so uh, this is the method inbuilt method to get the length of that string okay so we are iterating from zeroth index to the last index of that string and we are just increasing by one and then we are getting we are fetching the current 
character of that string so let me just take that string so the string was this okay so at first the string was this uh this okay so at first uh at that is the first iteration the i will be here at the zeroth index so the care at method is an inbuilt method in string which is taking an integer that is an index okay and it will return the current character okay so that's why we have to store that inside a character variable okay so at first it will store h okay then it is checking if toss is equal to this toss this character is equal to is equal to h so if this is h so one thing to remember that we are not checking the case sensitivity okay assume that all are in capital okay so toss is equal to is equal to h if this then increase the score by 2 so to increase the score by 2 we have to initialize that score variable okay so int score is equal to 0 okay so i hope you understood so then we have to increase the count of heads because we have we, we have that condition if consecutively three h are there present then we have to uh, we have to return the score and end the loop okay end the game so that's why we have to simultaneously use this count heads uh, variable to increase the count of h i mean heads okay so we have to initialize that then int count heads is equal to zero okay so count heads is equal to count heads plus one it will uh, it will simultaneously do that part it will perform that okay so as this is h currently so it will increase the score by two so at first the value of a uh, score will be two and count of heads will be one okay so then it will go to the next uh, next iteration as it is met okay i mean sorry it will also check this as this is not is equal to three so it will go to the next iteration okay so uh, then i will be one so i is one that means the iteration is here okay i mean the pointer is here okay so this is t so uh sorry here uh the next is t okay so uh toss is not h so it will go to the else block so score will be decreased by one so score was two now score will be one okay so count heads will be again zero because it is if it is t that means the consecutive h will not be present okay so uh, we have to reinitialize the value of count heads to zero okay so as soon as we uh, encounter a t we have to decrease i mean we have to reinitialize the count of heads is equal to zero okay so uh, here we are present right now okay and score is now one because we decreased the value we decreased the score by one as we met t okay then in the next iteration it is h so it will again go to the first iteration sorry it will go uh, to the if blocks so score will be increased by two so score was one so scroll uh, score will be one plus two that will be three okay so then it count heads will be sorry it was zero earlier because here we got that the value of count heads is zero so it will increase the value of uh, count heads because we met one h so in this way when it will iterate up to this okay when it will iterate up to this uh it uh, the count of heads will be in will keep increasing and it will become 3 and it will become 10 score of uh, a score will be 10 and count of h will be 3 then uh, in the same iteration it will check if count of heads is equal to is equal to 3 yes this is 3 so it will break so that means it will it will go outside of that uh, loop okay so it will go outside of the for loop and it will check whatever it is in return statement okay so it will return the score okay so that means the score was 10 it will be returned okay and for the second sample input tt h h t t in this case 3 t t is there but uh, it will not be a problem because uh, it is not in our condition okay so uh, it for this case the final score will be minus 1 as 
uh, it will just increase and decrease the values okay so let me just uh, print it i hope uh, this is fine for you and enough for discussion okay so let me just run it so for this as you can see 10 is the output okay so let me just uh, comment it and uncomment it okay so in this case the output should be minus one okay and as expected okay now let me share the questions just before that guys i want you to know that we have already included the latest updated questions with answers like sql questions web based questions and coding questions backend and also interview experience mock test etc etc all things are included and updated it will keep updating and you get it will get instant access and unlimited access you can see the feedback of students provided below you can see the recent candidate who has passed the exam and c is now preparing for the communication assessment okay so you can also prepare for that and get the opportunity you will get all of these like uh, previous year questions aptitude preparations so you will not need that but cloud and networking security famous office pseudo codes then communication round interview preparations combined chapters and all of these like recent questions with answers all of these are included like gamified round questions html CSS, javascript practice sql all previous year questions Accenture front end sample uh, front end front end back end game Accenture. So all of these are included. Thousands are preparing through these materials. So please go through that topmate.io/techno.skf. You will get the opportunity. Hopefully you will crack the Accenture assessment. Let's go to the questions. So this was the solutions I had written earlier. So at first uh, we are calling the function, okay, and we with the string, okay. Sorry. And with the string and it will return as uh, integer value it will just print it okay so let me just show you the uh, uh, function implementation so at first we are going through all the element okay so for toss in s s is the string okay s is the string okay and it is uh, inside toss it is actually storing all the character once okay uh, once at a time so it at first in, in the first iteration toss is equal to h so if toss is equal to is equal to h then it will increase the score by two and in simultaneously count of hits will be increased by one so nothing else we are doing same as java so if you didn't understand then please go back and watch from the java solutions okay there i have discussed already so please go through that so uh again it if it is t so it will decrease the score by one and count of heads will be reinitialized as zero okay when the iteration will be here at the last h uh, and it will check if count of heads is equal to is equal to three then it will break the loop and return the final score that is 10 for that case okay so let me just uh, print it i hope this is fine okay if you have any issue let's say if you want that please uh, elaborate and explain the python solution first then elaborate the java solution then please i i want the vote how many of you want the python solutions at first then if you want the java solutions then please vote at the comment section okay i'll try to assist so let me just run it and see if this is producing right output or not so for that case the output is minus one as expected and let me just comment it and uncomment it I hope this will be fine so in this case output should be 10 and as expected okay so if you have any other solutions let's say if you have more uh, like more optimized code then you can give us in the comment section I will also learn from that and many of our family members will also learn from that okay so please give your code and prove that you are a good and champ in the coding okay so I hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session so if you found this video helpful and if you want the prime materials then please damn me at my study instagram.com slash techno.ef i will try to assist you this is paid but very affordable okay so i hope uh, we have we are now at the end of the videos so i hope you will remember whatever i told so thank you for today's session